Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another session of Quick Fix Golf Online with your old buddy Bobby Lopez and uh, Jim Mason, Director of Golf at Pendleton Golf Club. Hello, Jim. Hello, Bob. How's everyone this evening? Well, we're going to have a good time looking at Jason Duffner chewing yeah, tobacco I... and grabbing his wife's butt. <laughs> that was quite a, um, quite a performance he did yesterday. Um, hey, you got to admit it, you know... People don't realize this guy, he's, what, 30-something? I think he's 36. Right. And he's been playing on the road for how long? I don't know, but it's nice to see. He seems like a nice guy. I'm glad he won. It seems like he's a nice guy. Of course, you never know unless you really know him, but he sure seems like he's one of these downloads, sort of like uh, Boo Weekly or something. Yeah. He just you know, doesn't, have, doesn't show much emotion. That's one thing. Well, outwardly, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And it might be in the too. I mean, we can't tell. But, yeah, you're 100% right. So uh, now that we've got some more piling up, we might as well introduce ourselves and who we are that's here talking to you this evening. Right off the bat, we've got Jim Mason here from Ping, who's a Ping staff uh, professional and also director of golf at Pendleton. And I guess you'd like to know what he looks like because in one of these... <laughs> In one of these webinars, you can't really see who's talking to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there he is. He's, he's now the starter at Pendleton. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless here. I really, really don't know what to say on that one. He's, a, he's the starter. <laughs> he right. the first what, date. That's what I was getting on my date 20. There. What is that? And he stabs you. I don't know. It's a, a, a something sticking out of his pants there. <laughs> it's either a hatchet or something. And he's got a couple of bottles of beef feeder there. Vodka. Not bad. So that's Jim Mason. <laughs> he might not be with Ping by next week if they see this. But uh, who cares, right? <laughs> and here's your old buddy, Bobby Lopez. Callaway staff player, of course. And, and um, started teaching golf at the beginning of time. And you probably want to know what I look like, so there it is right there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> People think I look like Joe Romeo's kid. <laughs> I look just like him. Look at this. Look at this. Is this something, huh? I tell you, God, my ear's funny. been bugging me. And you see this thing right here? It's stuck yes. in my ear? That's when my wife always complains. I don't hear her when she's talking. Looks like you have a coaster hanging from your ear. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Look at that. And with the nose, motto. You imagine this guy comes up looking for a job? Uh, no. <laughs> it's got to be a mugshot. And what is Quick Fix Golf all about? Well, you can improve your golf game at home. Send us your video. Go to quickfixgolf.com. Just look for online lessons. It'll give you instructions on how to videotape your swing. Or just send it to Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com, and we will analyze your swing, send it right back to you with all kinds of suggestions as to what you ought to do to not only ruin your golf swing but your life. Sometimes we get lucky and the people actually get better. What do you think of that, Jim? Yeah. So uh, how's things? You went on vacation or something. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I didn't do a whole lot. I stayed around the house and did a college tour my son's doing the college tour right now, so we're looking at different colleges. My wife had her knee operated on, so we kind of stayed at home. Why, she kicked you too much? Yeah. yeah she's <laughs> sick of kicking me. Well, why don't you have the kid go to where I went, Disco Tech University? <laughs> I might do that. I was a Phi Beta Ooh, Kappa. Ah. Oh, and guess what I found today? We have these Callaway Hex Black Golf Balls, normally 46 bucks for only nineteen ninety nine. just because they say the word practice on the side. It is the same ball. It's not a driving range ball or anything of the sort. It is the real ball. I thought I didn't have any more chromes, which are fifteen ninety nine, But I do. Being that my wife yelled at me and said, clean out the garage! And I found 13 more dozen balls. <laughs> so if anybody wants... The hex chromes, those are going to fly out the door, I promise you. So you want to uh, send me an email immediately and say, put me down for four or three or five dozen, whatever it is. Those 13 dozen are going to fly at only fifteen ninety nine. The chrome, I sort of like better than the hex black. It's a little softer. Right. Um, but they'll both go. I mean, it's, it's a tour ball. There's guys on tour using the chrome. There's guys on tour using the hex black. Phil, I think, uses the hex black. 
So that's a heck of a deal, really, for a golf ball. It's a great deal. And what kind of deals you got going to Pendleton this week? You got any discounts to play? or? Yeah, we always have, you know, our e-specials, and I recommend people sign up on our website because we send out e-specials every week. You know, our weekday specials like 35 bucks and $48 on the weekend. So, yeah, we've got some great specials. Well, here he is, Jason Duffner holding up the trophy. Huh? Looks That's like a good old guy. Huh? That's not the trophy. That's not the trophy. No, but it's a trophy. It's a trophy. What do you want for a Cuban to do all this stuff? <laughs> I'm lucky to find that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Wait a minute. Now, let's, let's see here. Now, let's see if I can pull this off. You're talking about the other. I got to try and get to the other software here. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Now, this is Ray Floyd. You know what? Oh, my God, that's amazing. I was sitting there watching that yesterday, and I said, he looks so much like Ray Floyd. I know it. Everybody said he looked like Ray Floyd. So I pulled up Ray Floyd. But also we have, let me see here. There he is, Jason Duffner. Now, looking from the downline view, he's got a nice 90-degree spine angle, don't you think? Yep. Not bad. Looks like he opens the left toe a little bit. We're going to see him from the front view in a second. And you see, here's the part I like. He keeps the golf club. Let me draw this yellow line here. He keeps the golf club head outside his hands. It's on this side, not back here where we see it all day long when we're giving lessons. Everybody rolls the club back and gets the head behind the hands, and then you're stuck. So he keeps that club head outside his hands. Mucho gudo. There he is, parallel to the plane. And yeah, he looks a little flat, but you know what? That ain't that bad. That's pretty parallel to where he was. I don't think he's that flat. No, it looks good. What do you think? No, that's, that's right on See? the money. What I like is where he sends his shaft. He's got the shaft right on the money, too. I mean, you can be flat and still have your shaft here, flat in the left arm. And you have your shaft there, which I think is a mistake. But anyway, now he can just take the club right from where it was and just work it right back to the ball. Boom, boom, boom. Look at the hands rotate over. See the club face closing. Look how it's perfectly parallel to the plane. Man, how do you do it better than that? Not bad. Yeah. You see anything there you want to pick on? No. I, I watched most of that tournament yesterday. He hit some great shots. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. I got one thing here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me move this up here. I got something real close here. I think he's missing a spike right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's missing a spike right there. You know, that could have been the problem. Yep. There we go. All right, now let's look at him from the frontal view. I got a bunch. Oh, there's Ray Floyd. Hold on. Oh, here he is from the front. Here's that famous waggle we saw. Look at this. Look at this. Da 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 da. <laughs> now he gets that waggle going, and then, see. Loads the right side. See, he's a little bit like what Chico used to teach, and that he drags the hands before the head. There's a lot of guys hinging it early now. He does the reverse. So he keeps it unhinged, low to the ground, up. Notice he doesn't have a backswing all the way to Bayonne. And again, almost like a tape recorder, tip of the left shoulder to the ball at impact. See, I like where he is at impact. Yeah, it looks like his head went backwards, too. Well, let's draw a line on that then. Here we go. Whoops. Sorry about that. Quick finger Lopez. Here we go. There. It went back. It came back to almost its original position. See, hands are rotating over beautifully. Boom. 
nicely balanced on this front foot. I don't, I don't see much to pick on. No. It doesn't look pretty when he's doing it. But when you slow it down and look at the positions, he's got maybe, maybe you could say he could quiet down that lower body a little more. But I think it's part of his whole rhythm, too. You know, you might screw him all up if you got rid of that. He's got to go. His, um, what about his left hand grip? Does that look a little strong? Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. He's known for that. Hold on. Let me see if I can get his hands to stay still. Let me try and. A little strong, but I'd rather be stronger than weak. I mean, his left arm looks really stiff to me. Well, let's see here. Well, he definitely makes you drive. Now, it's nowhere near as bad as uh, Monty. You look at, uh, what was his name? Colin Montgomery. Colin Montgomery, yeah. I mean, he slides all over the place. He's got a little bit of, you know, rhythm to time there. But it's not necessarily bad. Now, I also pulled up Kucher because he's also flat. Because everybody was saying on TV or something, whatever, about how flat. Now, he's flatter than Jason Dufter, but very similar. See, he sets the club, turns, boom. Very similar type of... Strategy for hitting a golf ball. Here's, uh, who is this? Holy crap. Oh, that's uh, also Kucher. Okay. Now, I, that backswing doesn't look the same as the one he was doing before. Watch this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold your horses here. Look at that. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, it could be the camera angle or whatever, but but uh, the, hold on. Hold on. Here. See? That's better because the club head is outside the hands. You know, he might have been swinging poorly. And that's one of the things you guys have to watch out for is that, you know, you can take these videos and you just take for granted that they're doing the same thing all the time. Look at this. See this shoulder area right in here? Now look at it over here. He might not have been playing so hot that day. and might have fixed that. I'm used to seeing him here in the videos that I've seen him. He looks this way. I've never seen him look that way. So it might be a, a, you know, a time when he wasn't playing so well, went to whoever his coach is and straightened him out or whatever. See, so those guys, just because you get a video of them doesn't mean that's the perfect example to use. Let's see here. Oops, oops, I have a shorter version of that. Where is he here? Hold on. Here, here. Where'd he go? Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Oh, that's the one we want to look at in a minute here. Hold on. Now, here's... here's. <laughs> Hold on. Here's, here's Duffner. Now, what's with the white belt? You know, we used to have white belts in the 70s. And you look like a bunch of old Miami Beach SIDS. It looked like uh, when they would get off the plane and come to Spain, we would all laugh at. We'd all have white shoes and white belt. They all looked like Miami Beach Sid. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to that again. It's the trend. They say fashion comes back around. Unbelievable. See, he's got that waggle going. Back he goes. Does roll his ankle quite a bit. Right. That's what I say. It's all sort of part of his rhythm. I'd be afraid to change it. I wouldn't change it. No. Leave it alone. There it is again. Now, hold on. I got Ray Floyd here, I'm telling you. Where did he go? Oh, here it is. Now, here's Ray Floyd. Now, watch this. Watch this. He gets up here. Now, watch this. You talk about a dance. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I was ready to start playing Indian music. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. <laughs> You know who does this? My wife's cat. <laughs> he gets up on top of the sofa and starts pressing it with his feet. Ooh. <laughs> he, really, he really yanks it inside. 
He changes directions a couple times. That's not a nice place to be. It's hard to see this because they didn't have those kind of high shutter speeds back in those days. See, but then he fixes it. See, now he's back to being parallel to the plane. Look at that. And that golf club is right where it was when he started. I mean, he just went halfway around the county to get there, but he got there. You know, so if you look at, here's the shaft right here. There's the shaft right there. I mean, that's amazing. He went, he did a Jim, he, he did the opposite of Jim Furyk. He takes it behind himself, but he gets it high and then brings it straight down on that line. Isn't that amazing? You certainly want to, wouldn't want to show somebody how to do that, but for whatever reason, it it works for him because he takes it right back on the, the right spot. I mean, how do you beat that? Yep. What do you think of them apples? Look at that. Ray Floyd in the day was a great player. He was a heck of a competitor. What else can we look at? Before we open it up and have the guys look, let's go back and look at Duffner again. See, he doesn't do what Ray Floyd does. He just looks like him. He does. He walks like him. Wait a minute. He didn't do the Indian dance. Oh, that's it. We're going to get a call now. We called it an Indian dance. Okay. Boom. But he puts the golf club right back where he started. Here's where it was when he started. Here's where it is when he hits it. About three degrees difference because the club bows down. I mean, bottom line is you got to put the golf club right back where you where you started. You pointed it where you wanted to go, then you got to be able to swing it and get it back to its original position. Close, more or less, within about three degrees. So why don't we open it up for some comments here? 